Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 11th of 2019. Well, it is titled IC 1805 the Heart Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a nebula that does have a vague resemblance to the shape of a human heart. And this is an example of an emission nebula. And they are generally associated with star forming regions. And in fact, in this nebula, what we see at the center here is a small cluster of stars known as Malat 15. And these stars are very young. They've only formed within the last million years years or so. Uh, and they are very hot, extremely hot, much hotter than our sun. And they emit a large amount of ultraviolet radiation. Now ultraviolet radiation is much higher energy than the visible light that we're used to. And it is very easily able to ionize atoms. And that means it strips the electrons off of them. Now most of the atoms around the nebula and honestly anywhere in the universe are hydrogen atoms. So when those hydrogen atoms have their electrons stripped off and then they eventually recombine they go through the various energy levels and give off different types of light. And in this case hydrogen atoms give off a very distinct red color that is associated with an emission nebula and we see that here. The whole glow around the edge is all hydrogen atoms that have been excited by this small cluster of stars towards the center. And as I've said, these are very young stars, but we see some even younger signs of star formation around too in some of the dark dusty patches around the center and towards the edges. Those are dense concentrations of material where stars are still forming at this point. So over hundreds of thousands of years, they will slowly finish forming and emerge out and more stars will be added to this region. Now a couple of other things noted in this image as well. One that could not be planned for is that a meteor happened to be uh, caught in the image. And you can see where I've highlighted this here. Uh, a meteor is a small piece of a comet a little bit of dust or ice left behind by a comet in its orbit that then strikes the Earth's atmosphere and burns up. So this is not the kind of thing that you can plan for. We know when meteor showers will occur. But to try to time any other image to happen to get a meteor on it is essentially impossible because they're just random events as to when that little bit of dust happens to hit us. So a photographer happened to catch this just again quite by random uh, being able to get that here. Now the heart nebula is not the only nebula in this image. There's also another one up towards the uh, upper right hand side which is uh, known as the fish head nebula uh, because it has the distinct look of perhaps the head of a fish. So you can see that up towards the upper right of the heart here. So that was our picture of the day for September the 11th of 2019. It was titled IC 1805 the heart nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.